With your bins ready, let's import some media. And there are a few methods to import your media, but I would advise you these two methods. So the first method is you go to your bin, let's say for example, footage, double click on it, and then you want to import your media from your cam A. So you click on the folder or bin, and then you click on your right mouse, import media, you go through the media that you want to import, you're gonna select it, you're gonna open it up, and now you see our first problem that we're gonna solve. Because DaVinci is gonna tell you, do you want to change the project frame rate? And what does DaVinci mean with this? I shot my footage in 50 frames per second, but remember that we set our project to 25 frames per second. So basically DaVinci is telling me right now, the selected clips have a different frame rate to the project. Would you like to change your timeline frame rate to match? You can't undo this action. Okay, so for example, if I say now change, DaVinci Resolve automatically change my project settings to 50 frames per second. And that's something I don't want, but I will show you an example. So let's change and look what happened here. It changed the frame rate to 50 frames per second. But that's not what I want. Even if I shot my footage on 50 frames per second, I want to work in a timeline that is 25 frames per second. So I'm gonna show it to you again. Let's import the media again, open it up. We get the same question. And now we say we don't want to change that frame rate. Let's go to project setting and boom, it's still on 25 frames per second. Okay, so this is the first method on how to import media. Let's delete this, hit the delete button on your keyboard, delete it. Let's also delete the folders. And now we start clean. All right, so the second method to import your media and folders to DaVinci Resolve is when you did all the work already on your computer. So I already created different folders for my YouTube project, I have a final export folder, I have a footage folder, music folder, and a timeline folder. All right, so in my footage folder, I have all my B-roll clips, I have my YouTube video, and I already have all the music I want to work with. So now, this method is what I use 99% of the time. I select all my folders, and then I just simply gonna drag them into my master. And this is very important that you drag them into your master and not just simply here, because I'm gonna show you the two different things that happened. So when I import it into the master, it tells you the same problem. And now we know that we don't want to change it. It created the bins for you with the footage in it. Pretty good, pretty easy. All right, so now let me show you what happens when you import these folders and footage not into the master, but here. It's one big mess. You see the music, the clips, everything is uh, messed up between each other. 